this place is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Hey guys, so today I've come to a park called Sandy Ridge. It's part of the Rain County Metro Park System. Um, it's just outside the city. It's actually very beautiful here. I was here about a week ago, but the mosquitoes were eating me alive. Today I'm out, finally. The heat has broken and the humidity. So I'm out here in the woods at Sandy Ridge. I'm going to the main pond area in the back to check it out. There's supposed to be an egret here. There's definitely an eagle's nest. Don't know if it's still active. So we're gonna go check it out and see what it's all about. This place is really pretty. The dragonflies here are actually very, very cool. They literally come right up to you um, on the bridge by the nature center and I'll show you that on the way out. So let's go see what's in the park. If you can see if you look over in here you might be able to see all the standing water this is all marshy and standing water this is where the mosquitoes were eating me alive when I came here before it's a cool shot right there Whoop, sorry blinding you with the Sun here that is really neat luckily I'm covered in bug spray I sprayed myself this time. Warning to photographers, do not use DEET with your camera equipment. DEET will eat plastic and synthetic materials and it left fingerprints on the back of my cell phone case. Permanent. It actually melted part of the side of one of my cell phone cases. If you're going to use any type of bug spray, pericardin, they've used it in the UK for a very long time. We've just started getting it here in the US. Um, I got mine at Cabela's, it's by Sawyer. There's other products that carry it. It's non-greasy, it doesn't leave a film on anything, it's not yellow and stainy like um, DEET is, and it doesn't eat synthetic materials like plastic, rubber, things like that. So be careful of that when you're out in the woods and you're using bug spray, because I learned the hard way. I did get it on my camera, but luckily I got it off in time. see a clearing up ahead. That must be where the big pond area is. what I just walked out into. Welcome to Sandy Ridge.
made it to Sandy Ridge. <laughs> nothing like this on our side of town. The closest thing we have on our side of town to this is North Chagrin Nature Center, but not like this. <laughs> this is just, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Let me turn you back around so you can enjoy too. Tons of ducks, tons of ducks. There's white egrets on both sides. I thought there was just one here. Apparently there's more. Tons of people. Oh yeah, tons of egrets. Right out here, there is a bunch of them. Wow. Dragonflies galore. far in front of me I don't know why I'm whispering there's people making all kinds of noise and joggers and beautiful beautiful bird so I'm trying to get a photograph of this bird um, there's also a turn out here diving and hovering and just really pretty well, I'll never get a picture of that when I'm not that fast so I'm going to try and get a photograph of this guy and hopefully I make it we'll see he's right out here Well, I'm by the second viewing platform and get you out of the sun here. Tried chasing the egret, it chased another one off, so it took off. I'm part way around. It's a 1.2 mile trail around this side. You can't go around the other side. Um, this is beautiful. I wish I would have been here earlier in the day because it closes at dusk. But I'm definitely going to have to come back to this place. So we are going to continue our walk and. Uh, Let's see what else we can find. I mean, oh, strong. It's up here. Yeah, I'm lazy. I don't want to put it back in my bag. There's just too much going on to put it back in and try and take it back out again as you're walking. So I'm just leaving it out. I know you shouldn't carry it like this. I can hear y'all now. But, eh. So I've come around to the other side. 
I was directly over there in the very beginning. Now I'm on the opposite side of the trail. And there are tons and tons of white egrets out here. Um, I mean, they're literally all along this area here. And they're absolutely beautiful. The sun is getting lower and I've not seen any indication of the eagle or eagles. I don't even know if they're still here to be honest. But there's tons of people coming now. Um, I don't know how much more vlogging I'm going to get done. So I'm going to continue around here. I'm going to take some more photos. Not sure how much vlogging I'll get done. So please, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe below. Hit the little bell so you can get notifications of new videos. I do have some new locations besides this one that I plan to go to for the next few weeks and months. Um, and a big trip coming up hopefully in August to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So we shall see what happens with that. And I'm going to continue around if I get the chance to vlog. I'll see you guys then. So you take care. Bye.